had an extraordinary career, packed full of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been busy. <laughs> um, from writing music for yourself, writing music for movie and TV. Yeah. Um, and I and I will be completely honest with you. I had no idea who you were. That's okay. And I, I have a feeling several that several people don't. Well, I was going to say <laughs> I have a feeling that several people don't. Uh, you're you play a lot of different instruments. Yeah. Um. And you went to college with Ben Harper, and you guys kind of yeah. started out together musically, right? Yeah, we started. Well, I was actually going to the college in the town where he was working in a music store that his grandparents oh, owned. Okay. We connected pretty heavily and we actually put out our first LP way back. We're talking 90, 92. Right. It was our first, both of our first releases, quote, uh, and it was called Pleasure and Pain. It was a duo record. How, where did you guys come together uh, creatively? What was it that you kind of saw in each other mm -hmm. that... Well, I think... Um, I was he wasn't really writing songs yet. I was I was writing songs and um, singing them uh, originals. And I think he really dug that aspect of what I was doing, uh, um, uh, a little more of the uh, with acoustic mostly, but also electric. But maybe maybe uh, a, of a sort of a James Taylor ilk or something. And he was really mastering um, at the time, mastering. Uh, more blues and the slide and his uh, wonderful lap steel uh, mm -hmm. Weisenborn playing like just extraordinary. So we we connected first on we jammed really well together, but then then uh, we started um, having some influence on each other musically and and then um, song wise and stuff. <laughs> How do you balance all of that out uh, creatively? I mean, do you live really? I guess is how do you pull all of that off? Well, you, I'll start. I'll start first with the with the what's good creatively with that is songwriting because I I think it enables me to write different styles and different flavors because I, I write on all these different instruments. Um, so that part makes it fun, and therefore I will play those songs live. Um, I can do a whole concert on guitar, maybe a whole concert on uke, and maybe and a whole concert on upright bass and piano. But I, um, I try to do what's there. Although tonight I brought a bunch of stuff. I brought a mandolin, a ukulele, uh, and my guitar, and they're gonna have an upright bass for me there. Nice. So I can't help it. I guess it keeps it interesting for me. It keeps it fun if I hop around a bit. Do you get bored? No, I think that's part of why. I think that's part of a good playing. Um, a zillion shows around the planet is mm -hmm. it's nice when you jump around on on a given night in different instruments i think people get off on it too i think they like dolphins it. are blue whales are gray oceans too small inspiration back in you know 85 or 88 
when you were really 85 88 okay. i don't know what that would no, have made that's you good that's good um yeah that would i would have been in high school so um graduate high school 87 damn give away my age um <laughs> Uh, so that that time I was play, I was listening to a lot of jazz because I was playing upright and I, so I was listening to like everything from from Miles Davis to uh, Duke Ellington and Charlie Parker and stuff and then as well I was still listening to a hefty amount of Led Zeppelin at equal parts Joni Mitchell I think I was all over the map mm-hmm. really uh, Grateful Dead uh, dare I say. <laughs> and uh, I was really enjoying a lot. I was enjoying a lot all over. And and I love um, I love folk music too. I like Straight Ahead. Um, I, what I missed in the eighties, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing I missed, and I got into later when I joined that band, uh, the Silos, which were a big influence on right. me and, and gave me some good. Really cut my teeth. I right, think that's the term. Cut Great band. Teeth. Yeah, it was really fun. So I, I was about twelve years younger than all these all those guys, and I, but I was I found myself touring wildly around the planet with them. <laughs> They turned me on to all the bands I was missing during that time, like The Replacements and, um, oh boy, I'm blanking, but uh, there, it, it was it was a great, uh, you know, I started getting into The Breeders and stuff with them. and um, Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was cool stuff that I, I wasn't that tuned into going on in the 80s. I always liked uh, NRBQ, too. That uh, was one of yes. my favorite bands. Yeah. This has been so such a pleasant surprise to me, you know, getting to meet you. Not that I thought I was going to dislike you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I lucked out, man. You were all right, guy. <laughs> hey, man, thanks. Thanks for having me. So TomFreund.com. It's F-R-E-U-N-D.com. Tom Freund, thank yes. you so much. Thanks for having me, guys.